Ziphering now expanding. Main rib lock disengaged. All blocks, orbits confirmed. No anomalies detected. Commencing energy exposure. Expanding gate lens. Gate creation successful. Well, it's almost time. Opening fleet wide transmission channel. Attention, fleet of Corneria. We in command have done all we can. From here on out, we're entrusting everything to you. So please, do your best. But try to come back alive. Okay, Pop. Link the gate. Target, the Aperoid homeworld. Okay. Is everyone ready? Star Fox, move out. Coordinates of Aperoid system confirmed and stored in memory. This is it? It's lovely. I wasn't expecting that. Wait, its size and mass are disproportionate. What? What does that mean? Are you saying... Look there! That must be where the Aperoids came from. Maybe we could use it to make our way to the planet interior. But after the Aperoids come out, it looks like some sort of shield goes up. Multiple shield generators detected, displaying now. If the past is any indication, there'll be hatchers along with those shield generators, huh? Even if we could move forward, that's as far as we'd get. It'll be dangerous, but we've got to demolish all the generators and turn off that shield. Hello, people, and welcome back to Star Fox Assault. Let's invade this enemy homeworld already. To drop the shield, we must hit all the hatches, yes? Let's hit them before they solidify defensive positions. Slippy and I will take over clearing the skies. I can take care of business when the time comes. This is do or die time. I'm counting on every one of you. Uh, I love how, like, determined they are to do this. I don't know, when characters get like that towards the end of a video game, it just makes you feel really, like, I don't know, pumped up to finish the game. Anyways, as you just heard from them, we are on the Aperoid homeworld. In case you haven't been paying attention to the plot for the past nine or so episodes, the Aperoids are the things we've been fighting up to now, and this is their planet. So we are going in here to destroy the planet, in which case it will destroy all of them. Because, like every sci-fi story, you destroy the leader, you destroy all of them. The character interaction in this level is sort of odd in that it's... I'm getting updates on the battle progress in the different areas. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna say I put up a very good fight. We've lost 20% of the fleet. We've no choice but to retreat. Listen up, everyone. We've got to breach this. We've got it. As I was saying, it's very odd in that everyone's so concerned for each other. This is the enemy stronghold. Proceed with caution. 
like that, but it's not like in a bad way. It's very... Oh, you feel a sense of camaraderie between everyone, which is nice. But this level this does have one. If you fall from here, you're done for. Be careful, Crystal. Yeah, if you fall from here, you're done for. Uh, I love how those are timed. But yeah, this level does have one, what I consider a major flaw, in that it is tedious as hell. Like, most of the level you're going to be doing this, you're going to be going around, killing all the Aperoids in a given room, so you can shoot these things down without any interruption. And these things do not go down easily. I think it takes three fully charged blaster shots. By fully charged, I mean just in the red. Good job, Slippy. And it just takes forever. And you have to do that, as you see in the corner over there, target six destroyed. times. Or, well, four now more now. On to the next target. Thank you, Peppy. It's just really... Damn it. Uh, where, where is there, where is there? That would have been embarrassing, getting beat by that little ball rolling thing. Uh, ooh, guns. This is also a level I suggest picking up all the guns for. I, I will say it is a good level in that it does incorporate a lot of the concepts that we were quote unquote learning. Hey, stop joking at... ah, this has a ball. Oh god. Did not know that game run okay, over by a ball them. would do that. Let's see, okay, where is it? But yeah, this level is good at incorporating everything. Like, you have the Landmaster, you have yourself. And you have the art, which, ah, uh, that's annoying. Destroy, get destroyed, get destroyed, thank you. Get destroyed, little ball things. You guys are no threat whatsoever. And health. Health is always good. Kill everything. I, I completely lost my train of thought with that last thing, but kill everything in this level it is maybe not mandatory but will make everything a lot easier especially with like oh you can sort of see what design they were going for with the level but just the design does not lend itself to the gameplay it's a trap are you all right folks it's a trap but yeah, the design does not lend itself well to games. And, okay, no, sniper. Oh god. <laughs> Destroy everything quickly, please. This is one of the cases why I said it's good to pick up every weapon. You can just... Like, that happens quite a bit. So, when it does, it's good to just have options. Like that. Like, there it goes. My grenade just took a little- oh god. Um, okay, there it goes. Just trying not to- Grenades are weird in this game. I'm not even sure the why he's using not that. Working on that enemy. Yes, I know Falco. Falco. Peppy. Whoever you are, weird bunny man. Do you remember where you're going, Fox? Try not to get lost on your way out. I know where I'm going, Slippy. I have radar. Huh, somehow have a 40 point combo. <laughs> Don't know how that happened, but that's good. Probably. No, combos really don't matter, but still. This 
this level is apparently making me lose all train of thought at all times. Just... Uh, I think I was saying it. Kill everything, grab all the weapons, and just be prepared for a little bit of tediousness with all of it. Well actually done, making Fox. pretty good time. Three more hatchers to hit. Three, oh god, I forgot the thing was there. Landmaster, please don't die. Please don't die. You are just... The Landmaster isn't particularly useful unless you're dealing with a large group of enemies, but it just makes getting around so much easier. Which is a blessing, because this level is sort of pretty big. Mainly because it does incorporate all three things. Which, it's cool, but... I do still think one of the flaws of this game is that just uh, the concepts are there and the gameplay is there, it just doesn't seem like it went together. Which is a sad thing to say, but oh. this game still isn't as bad as I think a lot of people assume it is. Speaking of games, this is just probably gonna date this by saying this, but this is coming not that long after- God. Landmaster. Destroy everything, please. But yeah, this is coming not that long after the Star Fox Zero announcement, which is awesome. Like, that game just looks awesome. It's supposed to incorporate a lot of things from Star Fox 2, which, if you didn't know, was a cancelled Star Fox game. Which seemed to be like it was gonna be one of the coolest things ever, but... They just... There was just poor timing and... Poor things. The game was close to complete, and they just kind of get it out. Which is sad. But it's nice to see all the concepts from it making a return. Since, I don't know if it's just me, but you don't see that it's quite as over. often as you should in the universe. Which really sucks because people have some really awesome like ideas for games and they just never get complete due to studios, budgets, or like just the time. But I am excited for it. I'm also a little sad for it since it looks like it's going to be taking place right after Star Fox 64, which was an amazing game in all honesty, but I don't know, it just sort of feels like the end of an era since Star Fox was probably one of the only Nintendo games to have a full straightforward continuity going throughout it. I mean, opinions on the games can differ widely, and I do agree with some were better than others, but uh, most people have big contention with Crystal being, well, Crystal, but I thought she was, I think she's a fine character. Like, uh, maybe she doesn't add much really, but I don't see a problem with her. She's definitely not as charismatic as the rest of the cast, which I guess in this game could impact you when most of the gameplay is full of like dialogue stuff. But oh, uh, maybe it's just me. The sky battle's and fun. maybe it's Don't just because my first Star Fox. Thank you for the update, Slippy. I'm trying to finish this as fast as I can. But yeah, maybe it's just because my first introduction to Star Fox was Star Fox Adventures, which was, depending on who you ask, not really a Star Fox game, which got a lot of people mad. But I thought it was a fine game on its own, with its own mechanics and stuff. I mean, like... Going back and playing 64 after Adventures, I could sort of see where all the, um, where all the, like, negativity comes from, because if you're playing a Star Fox game expecting, like, space action plane battle, I would probably be mad getting a 
like Zelda like RPG sort of game, but I don't know. I thought it for what it was, it was still pretty good. Like I have no complaints about it really, besides now very minor things, but I thought it was an overall fine game. And I'm probably a minority on that. Oh well. Speaking of going back to Star Fox Zero, the thing started this, it does look really cool with the walker and all the different things. It honestly it does remind me a lot of this game with like being able to go from our wing to the ground Target in an destroyed. instant. Ready to go, Fox. Two but uh, it looks way more streamlined than this. Which is definitely a good thing. It just does sort of sucks that probably, like, people are going to forget about this game, or people are never even going to realize it existed, since despite being, like, a main Nintendo... To oh god. Despite being a main Nintendo title, this game is sort of, like, oh. A lot of people just don't consider it a real star... Did not mean go that high. Got nervous for a second. I thought we were gonna fall off. That would have falling off on this level means you have to start the hatchery things all over again. And I would die if I had to do that. I I may be wrong and it might just like take you back, but still. I really don't wanna die here. Especially with how long we've been here. Oh, speaking of random Star Fox stuff, since we definitely have the time for it, let's go with how Star Fox was created. Which, honestly, is one of the most. Oh god. Oh god. Slippy with the jokes. Star Fox was created probably like, I don't know, it's one of the most interesting and unique ways in my opinion. Like, the creator, uh, Sigeru Miyamoto, for anyone who doesn't know, because, I don't know, some people may not know. I doubt it, but it doesn't hurt. He, he was inspired by this game by, not this game specifically, but just the franchise, by an old show called Thunderbirds, which is definitely obscure. It was an old show with marionette puppet things that flew around in planes saving the world. A family that flew around in planes saving the world. And now getting the idea of this from that is just so interesting to me. Like, it just sort of shows you into somebody's head, which is... I don't know, it's just cool. He also did get this idea from uh, a shrine. I can't remember which one at the current moment, but it was definitely a shrine with the fox. And arches, which... If you don't know, his main inspiration was to have a game where you fly under arches. And that turned into this. Again, not this game specifically, but you probably get my point. It's just, I don't know, I just really find it cool how things are created. Like, I like hearing the stories developers have behind their games because you get ones that are so interesting. So Destruction of hatcher confirmed. It makes nice you work, like... That leaves one hatcher to go. Uh, they, it's just like very inspirational because if they can get ideas simple from a TV show and a place they live by, then like, it makes you think that you can create anything. Which is just... Oh. I'm a sucker for creativeness. 
It's just so cool. And that tank is going to blow up, it. isn't it? <sighs> Let's see, can we rush to the other side? I did not- oh god, oh god. Why'd I do that? I regret everything. We- we made it. I'm surprised we made it. Okay. Radar, radar, where is that last one? It's over here. This is a giant map. Level, map, whatever. Okay, it's up there. So just go over here. Down the ramp. Up the small ramp. Up the bigger ramp. And I could be totally wrong and this could have just been where we were, but I don't think it is. I think it's on the other side. They look this super similar. The mission is going as planned. Good job. This is one level where they needed a to record it like so much more dialogue. It's just this level takes your steam away. Which, uh, I wouldn't mind the level's length if it wasn't this six times. We can't tell how anything's going from here. You're not getting any help on this one, Fox. You're on your own. It's the last one of Falco. I'm not expecting help. I, I do like what they tried to do with making each room, like, slightly different. But it's still just so... So, uh, um, repetitive, which, repetitiveness in a game is not good, even when it's late into the game. It's, are you okay, Fox? just their attitudes are, like, the complete opposite of this, and thank god he dropped the health hack. <sighs> Enemy ship down! Good job, Falco. As I say, like, the characters' attitudes are the... were the complete opposite of this, but... Honestly, if it sounds like they sort of get tired after a while... Maybe it's just me projecting onto them, but... Seriously. I... They could have done so much more with this. It's... It's fine for what it is. But it could have been so much better. And I, don't know, I think that hurts more. <laughs> because there's the potential there. And wait, did we not kill all of them? Did 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 we miss one? <laughs> Damn it. Oh by the way, I have barriers. Have not needed them. <laughs> this is not a hard level. Okay, let's see. Destroy. Destruction yes. of Hatcher confirmed. And update. Sensors detecting new presence. A Hatcher. What? New Hatchers located under the base. Fox, you gotta get busy destroying things. I love that reaction. Just what? Because the first time I played this, that was my reaction. Six more! <sighs> they... They really the want this level to last. Directly below the base. Take that thing out with your R wing. Get to it, Fox. I'm going, I'm going. Okay. This part of the level, it... This part... It... Are we? Now it gets started. Right. Thank you. The target's below you. Hurry, Fox! This part of the level is sort of... Uh, Dang, I got one on my tail. Come on. Oh god, I I hate this part of this level. So much. Because you are stuck with these basic bullets and your teammates, comrades, whatever get in trouble and Sorry, Fox. Don't apologize, Falco. Damage is done. Just your teammates get in trouble and everything is, is following you. 
Damn, it is just annoying. Laser, 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 come on. Come on. Okay, break, break. How do I... That was the wrong button to break. Okay, there we go. Slightly stronger laser. And I know I'm not doing anything yet. I am sort of waiting for Slippy to get chased. I really feel like they could have done a lot more with that, too. I don't know what. But um, they could have had you, like, um, maybe have to suit down a door for one of your friends or something. You get shot down there and your streets oh, it just makes them seem like the is located directly below the base. Makes them Take seem sort of incompetent. It, and yes, Peppy, Slippy, Peppy. Is that right the first time? I'm going, I'm going. Uh, it's best to take down these hatchers with charge shot if you can get one off, but it is not easy since you just sort of target everything else around it, so now maybe trying to do best bet. If you get a charge shot and then spam it to death, it's probably the best. It looks like we may be the last hope. Don't give up, and only someone can defeat the Queen. If we can insert the program, everything will be fine. Again, because sci-fi. You get shot down there, and your streaks. You said that already, Peppy. You're you're looping. I don't like you looping. Okay, come on, destroy it. Darn it! I'm being chased. Damn it! And there you go, Slippy. Just when I felt like I was gonna get them all. Uh, where are you, Slipster? Seriously, is he above you? Um, you know, a height meter would be really helpful for this kind of situation. Okay, Slippy! Just one, two, I let my guard down. Thanks, Fox. It's okay, Slippy. I don't find you as annoying as everyone else in the world. Yeah, I have I have nothing to say after that. Just I don't find them annoying. I never really find you annoying characters. Destruction of Hatcher confirmed. Enemy ship down. Can you shoot the enemy shooting me? Uh, maybe if your friends did that, saving them all the time would not be as sort of like game stopping as it is. And uh, whatever. Come on, destroy, destroy it. Destruction of Hatcher Can confirmed. not die. Destruction of Hatcher confirmed. Oh God. Falco, Crystal, Slippy, I'm proud to have fought alongside each of you. Where's all this coming from, Peppy? It's nothing. I'm just babbling, that's all. Okay, understood. Old men and their babbling. Okay. There. Ooh, lasers. That is. Keep your eye on the ball, Fox. Just. Are there any rings that I can get before I die? Oh, that's Slippy. Sorry, Slip. Let's see. Can we get down there and destroy this last one before we die? It. Where the hell is it? I I think we can destroy it. They seem to just stop carrying. All targets down. You did it, Fox. Now we can invade the base. <laughs> We did it. Everyone's in one piece. Peppy, let's get him supplied. Transmitting supplies. Keep your guards up, team. <sighs> we finished. Oh, this is episode nine, my bad. We finished.
that level 26 minutes. Oh my god, this is gonna be a long video. But, that's it for now, and next time we will finally evade the Aphroid homeworld. And hopefully nothing goes wrong. I shall see you guys later.